Hello everyone, my name is Eric. You're welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we are diving into the second harvest of rain-fed tomato. It is going to be a big one. As always, we are here to share valuable insights and a technique used by smallholder farmer to overcome challenge and make the most of their harvest. So guys, let's get started. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about rain-fed tomato harvesting, where we are going to learn about maximizing technology and opportunity for smaller order farmer. In this episode, we are going to address the importance of utilizing technology and a resource. So guys, Farming is not just about hard work. It is about smart work too. Today, I want to emphasize the importance of utilizing every technology we have, every resource available to us. So, we can start from rain-fed tomato, farming, simple irrigation that you can employ in tomato farming, to modern tools. Every small step can make a big difference in boosting your harvest. For example, when you are using different technology like irrigation system, when you are farmers buying improved seed, when farmers they are ready to use modern technique. Those all of these can help to make a big difference in boosting the yield. So you can see irrigation system, improved seed, modern technique. By embracing this advancement, smaller holder farmer like you, you can seize opportunity in various crop every evening with the land fed farming so you can see this lead to my next point and this is very big point very bold one i'm not promoting land fed tomato over drip or over greenhouse grown tomato instead i'm sharing rain fed tomato harvesting to give you more option to inspire you to take opportunity regardless to available technology and uh, your farming scale so i want to repeat i'm not promoting rain fed tomato over drip irrigation tomato farming or greenhouse grown tomato so the purpose of bringing this progress from how you can set or prepare the deep hole for planting this rain fed tomato that they depend 100 percent rain give you more tips how you can apply fertilizer First harvest, what you can get. Second harvest, like this, the big one, is just to give you more option and inspire you to take advantage of available technology. And uh, regardless of your farming scale. So if you are capable of using drip irrigation, you can take that opportunity, use it. If you have greenhouse, take it, utilize that opportunity, adapt that technology. Both of that, they can give you more yield. If you are a small holder farmer, you can't afford and you are pressed there is rain. You can also take that opportunity of rain fed tomato. So. If you are that kind of farmer, 
of that scale. This is opportunity like Renfed tomato farming. This one is for you guys. So guys, the big harvest. So you can see, this is what we call like a big one. As we continue more harvest, we notice the gradual decline starting from like the 51 harvest until to the final one. If you remember from my previous episode, I emphasize like that the pre previous episode I stated about first harvest where we get less, where we talk about ripening simulation, which give opportunity like once you up harvest so that the, you stimulate tomato to produce more ethylene so the next harvest you can have more ripening tomato than the previous one so as you you're going keep harvesting so you get more tomato you get more tomato and and also you reach to the peak like the third one or the fourth one after that the yield will start decline so this is how you can take those uh, steps like to understand the process of consecutive harvest and uh, their decline. So guys, it is crucial to plan ahead and be prepared for this decrease in yield by managing your resource wisely, diversifying your crops you can maintain sustainable farming pra practice throughout the year by embracing other opportunities like drip irrigation and a greenhouse. So guys, let's move to another steps where we, we are going to see how small horror farmer, they harvest like this and they grading tomato and they for market. So they prepare this tomato for market preparation so guys you can see how sorting and the grading station so you can see how farmer they grade their tomato before sending them to the market so this process it highlights the importance of uniformity so it is essential for farmer to understand the demand of the market and they grow the right variety for the market. For instance, you must opt the tomato variety that have longer lifespan. So once you harvest, it will minimize the post harvest losses and increase the profit. Farmer, they want those kind, consumer, they want those kind of food tomato so once they are buying they know they can sell it without rush because they trust their product that's why you need to grow understand the market and the, the demand which variety is doing well in the market so guys this mark end of my video thank you for joining us today on this rainfed tomato harvesting journey remember by utilizing technology understanding market demand smallholder farmer can thrive continually significance to agriculture sector let's continue to explore new opportunity and celebrate the greatness of farming if you are enjoyed this episode and you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share this episode. Subscribe to our channel for more insightful content and hit the notification bell so you won't you won't miss any any future updates. Always stay curious and keep learning. See you next time. Happy farming.